with our juniors, 10 to 14 point breaks. Now the point breaks, the challenge being, they're gonna get points only on the sprint lap. Now the sprint laps are gonna be designated by the bell. So when the bell's ringing, the kids know that next time around, they're gonna get points for coming across the line in the order of five, three, two, and one. So five points for the first kid across the line. So this is kind of the most challenging in terms of mental match that these guys are gonna have to do, but I'll make it a little easier on everybody. I'll try and keep them up to date on the points from up here. But for five points in first place, is a big deal. That's a lot of points in a sprint. They got three sprints in total. Three laps away from each other, so it's a total of nine laps, as you can figure. And right now, they're on what we call a neutral lap. They're just going around and staying together. And all of our fields will be doing that. So the idea is every racer should be all close together. As long as they do that, we'll start them out of this last turn, and that'll be the beginning of the race. The lap cards won't go down until the next time around. So our officials getting ready to get them started. And with the sound of the gun, the race is on. Our juniors, 10 to 14 age, working together to count down some Go out, get a wheel! Go out, come on, come on. Two laps before we'll do the bell ringing in anticipation of the very first point sprint. We're going to do one more round of grind here, trying to get off some good stuff right away. This one's easy. It's a six pack of Blue Star Wheat Beer from North Coast Brewing. Easily yours, if I can uh, draw your name out of a, a bag here, on a great chan, and see who I pull out. I'm not looking, I promise. It's not a rig system. <laughs> and the winner on this one is Amara Edwards. Whoops. Come on, Em, get a I wheel. it's not rigged. I do like beer, and that might be my wife, but it all works out. You want these. You drink a lot of that, don't you? Nope. That's my job. Man. Hey, at least we won something. That's cool. I do feel like that's kind of rigged, though. And I did pull that one out when I, and I was holding it. I, man, I broke every rule in, in the book that way. All right. Continuing on. It's a legit system, I really do promise. They're seeing seven to go with their first point sprint. Clint Mayo in the black is on the front of this one. Justin Jordan wearing the white blue. Go, Sino! Go, Al! Get Avery! Out, accelerating, they know it's time to get some points. So everybody's going to be fighting for this one. we got all ranges of experiences out here and ages, so it's a pretty stratified group. 10 through 14 all racing together, but they will be given their medals separately. So all I can do is uh, show you who's got the most points. At the end, we'll figure out their medals once we've uh, figured it out. Trent Mayo, looks like he's going to get the first five. <laughs> Justin Dorgan coming across next. Michael, or Brennan Hodges, excuse me. Michael's his father. Good and job! Bender coming in. Getting in, getting the nice last job, point. Nice job, Em. Stick with it. All right. And here's what can happen very quickly in a point race as after a sprint, you'll see this in a lot of the categories, there'll be a little bit of distance between some of the riders. So now there's kind of these open spaces. We call the group there coming through corner four. That's our lead group. We've got four juniors together. They're the ones who got points last time. A group of three making a nice attempt here at catching. I think that's Avery Cobb in the hot pink on her uh, pursuit there, catching the group in the front. And a couple other trailers also in the work trying to catch that front group. Come on, folks, give us some help. We're trying to get back in this race. Good job, C. Nice job, Lord Jr. All right, right Em, you're, you're doing great. Nice on. move. Dorfin, he's in the second wheel right behind him. He's got bright blue. And right behind him, Brennan Hodgins is in third place with two points. He's also in bright blue with the orange. And then finally, in the red, Gideon Bender. He's got the yellow shoes on, if you can't see his jersey from here. Okay, this could be a pretty specific one, so if we need to do a trade, we can see it. We can figure something out. However, I've got a Jail Velo Women's Small Windbreaker. It's a beautiful looking guy with a little bit of reflectiveness on it. Good for a ride if you need something like that. Again, I would probably have to give it back, but that's okay. 
Here we go, they're spinning for points. Juan's one up the next game. Tenniel is on the front. Driving nice job, Cedar! Go in! Oh, this will definitely fit him. Brett Seahorn. That's going to go on perfect. Brett Seahorn gets it. He knows it. He's on the infield there. We'll get that to him shortly. He'll probably work out some trade with somebody, I'm sure. If you're really looking for a windbreaker for a small girl rider, we've got it for you. Here comes Trayton trying to get five more, but he's going to be up here sprint. Look at Justin Gordon. Oh, man. I'm not sure if Hodgins got that or if it was Gordon. That was right to the line. Look at all this effort coming in the back of the pack. These guys are working their tail feathers off. Good really job. Good. That is some good form for youngsters here. Okay, and it sounds like uh, Brennan Hodges just barely couldn't catch Justin Dragon. It was, it's got to be the closest of margins that Justin um, was able to hold off and get three more points. So right now the standings are Trent Yellow with ten points. Oh, well, my apologies. I just heard over the radio. It's the other way around. Brennan Hodges and Justin Dragon are now tied for points. Five apiece. Very cool. Still the lead, though. Trent Yellow, he's got ten. He's taking a break for now. Two points to get in Bender, but these two guys right here, number 29 and number 36, they share second place with five points apiece. Go on, this they're slowing! Sort of so in the back because these guys are out here working hard. And, and that shows a lot of character making the way back up to the pack after that big gap that's opened up on them. That's hard to do. So very awesome. And a lot of these juniors have been out here racing a lot, and some of these guys are out here just trying it out. So this is fantastic to see their efforts. Looking good as they come through the line. Our lap cards will show one to go. That means we're setting up for the final sprint and the final chance for points. Trent Mayo ready to close this one out if he's able to. But boy, Justin made it close to that last sprint. Just a quick reminder, I know it's very exciting to be a part of the racing here at Marimor Velodrome, but we got to keep the feet and the toes and everything inside the way. Keep those feet inside of the rail, please. The feet inside the rail right here on the front stretch. Thank you. Go get the Milligan girls. Okay. They know who they are. Milligan girls. Keep those feet inside the thing that isn't a vehicle. Here they come. Uh-oh. It's going to be a different story this time. They're fighting over second place, possibly first today, depending on how it goes. Oh, Justin Morgan. Three It's going to be He gets it. For a great finish. Just coming around the outside of Morgan in a good sprint day by the youngster. Nice job, Al. For first. 